for joining us today on Playing the Field Local Edition. I'm Maria Soreo. We are here at Palace Verdes High School today, home of the Sea Kings, where you will meet the girls varsity softball team. Coach, give me a little overview, first of all, of the team this year. Well, we're still young. We were young last year, and we're still young because we had a large freshman class last year. Now we have a large sophomore class. So we're a little more experienced, but we're still very young. From season to season, when you have new girls coming in, how do you sort of know what they're going to be good at, what positions they're going to be good at? The new ones, uh, well, it's a little bit of a puzzle each year, you know, because um, we're not a travel team, we're not a private school, so you have a hand you're playing here. Uh, you see what you're dealt every year. So um, what somebody may play on their club or travel team, uh, they may be an outfielder there, but they could be playing third base or shortstop for us because that's the best option. And, the, you know, it usually works out pretty well. And, and a lot of the girls, usually when do they start playing softball? Oh, gosh. Uh, it's, it, it's a hit or miss with all of them. I mean, I'd say for the most part, the ones that are still playing today probably started when they're somewhere in the neighborhood of six, seven, or eight. Wow, yeah. And um, they've continued playing. And uh, some continue in the rec league circuit and then come to the high school and some are all in with the travel and the clubs and, and all that in the off season as well. And then what are your expectations for this team this year? Well, they uh, need to just kind of continue to grow off last year's uh, season. We, um, uh, you know, we got to hang a, a Bay League championship banner last year, so that was exciting. Um, and, you know, I think there's no reason why we can't challenge for that again. I mean, it's going to take work. We have to, you know, we have to play well in big games, but uh, I think we could be in the mix. Lastly, you are very big into positive reinforcements. Tell me about the uh, the uh, the sayings that you have on the the wall. Yes, the wall of sayings. That's uh, that actually comes from uh, one of my assistant coaches, uh, Lou Hankhouse. She um, is very big with the the power of the positive thinking and mindfulness and all that. And, um, you know, it's just slogans to live by, and uh, I think the girls like it. We actually even had a, uh, a speaker the other day, a sports psychologist, uh, come talk to our team uh, in just kind of general of how to approach games and, and, you know, if you do make a mistake, get it out of your head and, and move on to the next pitch or the next uh, whatever. And, um, you yeah, know, I thought that was a good thing for them because you do a lot of training with your body, and, you know, it's a lot of mental game too. Amanda, you being the only senior on the team, do a lot of the girls look up to you and ask you questions since you've had the most experience? Um, I say in some cases yes, but we also have some juniors like Addie and Nikki who they also can go to if I'm not available. Okay. Um, tell me how long you've been playing softball, why you chose it for your sport. I've been playing softball for 11 years. Um, I chose it because my dad played it and he kind of put me into it and I, I don't know, ever since then I've just fell in love with it. and. I don't know, I find it very, it's like an escape from like real life, kind of. Did you ever try any other sports? Um, yeah, I did a lot of different sports, like cross country, basketball, swim, tennis. <laughs> I mean, I've tried them all. What made you pick softball as the one you liked the most? Um, I really like the competitiveness, how fast it is. But honestly, the teamwork and like having to like work with others and trust each other is like, it's a sisterhood, and I don't think you find that a lot in other sports. How difficult was it for you, being the only senior, to lose seniors last year? Uh, it was really hard, because I was super close with the seniors last year. But I think they taught me a lot in how to lead the team this year, and I'm very grateful for that. I've been playing softball since I was six, and my mom actually played when she was growing up. So she kind of like forced me to start, and then I just ended up loving the sport. Did you ever try any other sports? I tried soccer and swimming, but those just did not stick. <laughs> what do you think it is about softball that did stick for you? I think because it teaches you a lot about, like, there's a lot of life lessons within softball. Like, you can fail so many times, and then only, like, one out of ten times you can succeed, and, like, you'll still feel great about yourself. You know, interesting you bring that up because we're going to talk about the motivational board, and really it's such a mental game on top of being a physical game. How do you sort of balance that? Well, it is difficult, but you definitely have to learn how to be, like, tough-minded and, like, be able to take the failure and then be able to, like, not get down on yourself and know how to recover from every situation. And what position do you play? I play center field. Okay. And did you ever try any other positions, or was that the one that you're best at? I tried pitcher when I was little. I played every position in the infield, and then 
it just I just went to the outfield and I just loved it. So you're like the Mike Trout of the outfield, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. From season to season, since you've been playing for so long, um, what do you d work on most in your own game to get a little better? I work on my strength and my running because I'm a fast runner, so I'm a like people rely on me for like my speed and getting around the bases. What's the difference between travel and playing in high school? Travel is a lot more competitive, and all the girls are about the same level. In high school, you get a bunch of different levels that you play with. I've been playing softball for 12 years now, and I chose it because my older sisters played, so I wanted to follow in their footsteps. Okay. Since you've been playing for so long, what do you work on from season to season to get a little better? Yeah, uh, I'd say I work on just getting better in the mental aspect now since I've done so much work in the physical parts, yeah. And, and what does that mean for you to work on your mental aspect? Uh, just focus on how I can get more outs or prevent more runs from scoring each game and how I can help my team even when I'm not playing. And what position do you play? You must have tried them all by now. I'm a pitcher. Okay. And that is a very specific position. Uh, from a pitching perspective, what do you work on? Uh, I'd say I work on hitting my spots as well as I can and consistency all the time. Okay. And then tell me, um, how difficult is it to sort of you know, make time for school and make time for softball since you spend so much time here? It's difficult. I spend a lot of time doing my homework in the car, at practice, just fitting things in when I can because I do multiple practices a day and have to balance in a hard academic schedule. Okay. I think six years and I chose it because I just liked it and I had a lot of friends and I kind of stuck with it. Did you ever try any other sports? Yeah, I tried basketball and soccer, but I just didn't really like them. So. What do you think it is about softball that made you really enjoy it and want to stay with it? Um, I think it was just having friends on the teams. I really started to enjoy playing after a few years. Okay. And as a pitcher, that's a very specific position, obviously. What do you sort of work on from year to year to get a little better? Um, I just work on with my pitching coach, like um, spin, trying to get speed, kind of everything like that, and the mental aspect, too. That mental aspect is, is for sure a big thing, especially in softball. Um, how do you sort of condition yourself to say, move on to the next, keep going, things like that? Um, it's more of like in practice, I'll just kind of work through things and like go through batters and kind of see, oh, like I'm okay, like I can keep going and stuff like that. I've been playing softball for around like 13 years now. Wow. Yeah, my parents started me young. Um, I've just played it because I've always watched my brothers play baseball. They don't play it anymore, but... My dad loved playing baseball when he was in high school. Um, he played it his entire life. Him and my uncles used to play all the time, and I just, it's family trade, I guess. <laughs> Did you ever try any other sports? No, never. Oh, wow. So, I mean, from just your perspective and not your family's perspective, how did you fall in love with the game? What did you love about it to stick with it? I loved it so much because I grew up with only two older brothers. So it was just a sense of having this entire team of sisters with me throughout most of my life. Since I could remember, I've known, I've known one girl on this team for practically since we were like five. I've made long-lasting friendships. And now you come from a baseball family. Do you guys watch pro baseball? All the time. Okay, you, you have to tell me who. Dodgers all the <laughs> way. We bleed blue. Somebody who plays softball, when you watch guys playing baseball, do you learn certain things from them? Oh, definitely, yeah. Like, I could just always remember going to the like, stadium with my dad and just watching him and his friends play. I, I learned certain things. Like, my dad always played first base, so I definitely learned like my techniques from him. You know, I asked a baseball player once, I said, it's a game of failure, so why do you do it? And he said, because when you get it right, there's nothing like it. It's just this sense of, like... Oh, it's just you're left in shock like I actually did that like I did it correctly this time like I've been in practice for so many weeks trying to do this play and an in game I did it right like what it's just it's insane awesome. I've been playing since I was like six to like nine years and I played because my sister also played so it was kind of just like I followed her what was it that she sort of um, talked about, or was it just watching? Why did you really want to do it because she did it? Um, probably because I like to do the same thing she does, 
And also because, like, I, like, look up to her. Okay. Yeah. And it, was this something that was super fun um, on top of wanting to do it? or? Yeah, I, I really liked doing it, and it was, like, really fun to meet all of these new friends. And I got a lot of friendships out of it. It, it seems like a lot of you are really close, and you do a lot of things away from softball, too. Yeah, we do a lot of things together, like go to lunch before practice or games. And um, from season to season, since you've been playing a long time, what do you work on specifically to get a little better in your own game? Um, probably just like to have more energy and to be more focused during the games, because that's always good to have. Very good. Yeah. Did you ever try any other sports or play any other sports? Um, I mostly played and tried like everything when I was little, but I was just stuck with softball. Mm -hmm. How difficult is it to balance schoolwork with playing softball? Um, uh, well. Sometimes it can get a little hard if you have a lot of work, but if you just like try to stay on top of things and are organized, then usually things just like work out and you might have to stay up late one night, but it's kind of worth it to get to play a game. Um, what position do you play now? I'm left field. Did you try every position? Um, mostly, yeah. Like I tried catching until I was like about 10, and like I tried to pitch until I was about like 8, but I just always like to be in the outfield and stuck with me. You know what? That everything in softball or baseball is very specific. What is the biggest challenge playing left? Um, well, I mean, even though you might not get like a lot of balls hit to you, you always have to stay focused and like always just have to be on top of everything and knowing what's going on and like think in your head where you're gonna throw next if the ball comes to you. Is that very good. I've been playing since I was six, so that's about ten years now. Um, I started because a friend at my school, a very good friend, was playing and they thought I'd be like interested in playing. So I started playing and I really liked it and I've been playing ever since. Did you ever try any other sports? Um, I do play volleyball also and I played soccer when I was younger. But I chose softball because I like it better. It's not as much running as soccer is and that was like tiring but... Other than that, it's, I like it a lot. So you're still playing volleyball, yes? Yes. Okay, so what do you think you learned playing that specific sport that helps you out here? Um, for that sport, it's a lot of footwork, and also on the field here when you're throwing the ball, there's quite a bit of footwork that like you need to learn. As like with volleyball, for your approach to hit the ball, it's a bit of footwork too, and yeah. Okay. And because you're really an athlete, what do you sort of work on from season to season and get a little better? Um, I usually just practice. I also play with my friends, too, because most of my friends I know through sports. So, like, we'll get together, just, like, throw a ball around and do stuff like that. And I also am on a outside team at a school. Um, it's, like, it's not as, like, intense as a travel team, but it's still, like, we travel a bit, but, and it's really fun. Playing away from school, what do you learn at that aspect that you might not get here or vice versa? Um, just like playing with people that don't go to your school so you meet other people that go to different schools. I think that's like really cool. Yeah. So you make more friends. Very nice. Yeah. Very okay. And then um, what position do you play? I play first base. Okay. So what is the most challenging about playing first? Because you get a lot of balls coming your way. Yeah. Um, if I get a short hop, so that means they like, throw it and it bounces right at my feet, like that's probably the hardest thing because you have to like not be scared that it's going to hit you, but keep your glove down. And So that's about it. Like it's pretty challenging to do that. I've been playing softball for 11 years, and I didn't really choose it at first. I kind of was forced into it, but I used to play soccer too, but I decided that this sport was more for me. Why do you think that? Um, I like the competitiveness and just like the team spirit was more um, in softball than soccer. And what position do you play? I play second and shortstop, mostly middle of the field, yeah. Okay, that, that's a very active area. What is the biggest challenge playing either second or short? Um, probably to know where to go every time the ball's hit and like what bases to cover. Just like you really need to be like on your feet like all the time. Very true. Yeah. And then, um, because you played for a long time, what do you work on from season to season to get a little better? Um, I usually, I guess I just try to like keep my schedule like really like like um, tight and so like I know what to do and like how to like go to the gym like this time and like do this at this time and so I'm like really like organized so I can get all my work in. Yeah, organize is probably a good work for that. I was going to ask you if there's if it's difficult to balance everything, but you seem to have a schedule down. Yeah. Okay. And then 
um, what are what are your expectations this year for this team? Um, I think we could be like pretty good. I think we can go and win Bay League if we try like really hard. But um, I think we have more potential than last year's team. Good. Yeah. What are some of the messages that the coaches want you to remember? Um, just to be confident and always like believing yourself on and off the field and like know um, that your teammates have your back and stuff. I started around like five, just like right near my house at Cornerstone. Um, I think it was just, it was an awesome environment, just having like a bunch of, playing with a bunch of friends. It seemed like something that I would like to do for a long time. I started with like soccer and other sports, but this one kind of like stuck out and I kept with it. Um, I just like, it's really, it's a team um, effort, but then like when you're up to bat, it's kind of like just you and you're kind of just doing whatever you can to help the team. I liked that aspect of it. Um, and there's also the um, competitiveness that you need. It kind of just seemed like it was a good fit for me. When you, you say you play other sports, what do you think it was about softball that really made you want to stay with it? Um, I think partially because I was surrounded by such like great coaching and like encouragement. And it was something that I also like with practice, I got really good at. So I was like, oh, like maybe I can like, you know, go somewhere with this. Um, yeah, I guess it was just one of the things that um, I really enjoyed doing and yeah. Okay. And um, because you've been playing for such a long time, what do you work on from season to season to get a little better? Um, it depends um, on my performance, or maybe I'm struggling with hitting an outside pitch uh, a couple games, or maybe I'm uh, not doing something right with my fielding. I think I just I, I'm doing the regular stuff, hitting, catching, all of that. But then I'll focus partially, like maybe when I'm hitting, I'll just you know, work on all outside on the tee or stuff, and just kind of helping. Um, just so I could, like, get better at it, I guess. Okay. And what position do you play? Um, I'm a catcher, and I play some first, too. Okay. So how much time, being a catcher is a very specific role, um, obviously, on the field. How much time do you spend with the pitchers, sort of looking at other hitters, things like that? Um, uh, definitely, yeah. So I've known both my pitchers on this team for a really long time, so I'm familiar with, like, their sequence and everything, what they like most. Um, it's really important to get to know them and what their favorite pitches are, maybe when they're down in the count you have to know what what pitch can get them a strike or what pitch like what pitch they can waste to make the batter swing I, it's very important to know uh, your pitcher like really well yeah I mean do you guys have the time to do that with schoolwork and everything else it's it's definitely hard time management is huge um, just playing a sport in general um, but I mean at practice where we do bullpen sessions so we're working uh, over there in the cage just throwing I'll, talking to my pitcher like uh, how does this feel? How does this feel? And then before games, to just making sure they're comfortable with what they're throwing and, you know, that they're ready, they're feeling good and stuff like that. I've been playing since I was, like, probably six. And, like, I played a bunch of sports back then, but, like, softball, like, just really stuck. And it was, like, really fun. What do you think it was about softball that made it stick for you? And because you're obviously an athlete, you could have played many sports, but this is the one you really love. Um... Honestly, it was just super fun and like just being out there with my team and like it was just I just fell in love with softball. What position do you play? I play third base. Okay. Third base is such an active position. What do you sort of work on um, from season to season to get a little better? Um, honestly, just tracking the ball in my glove, making sure that I don't make errors in the game. It all starts in practice too. You have to have really good practices to be good in the game. So practice makes perfect, right? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Okay. And then um, a lot of you seem to be friendly outside of softball, too. T tell me about that. Um, we kind of just have, like, this friendship and, like, teammate bond that, like, just really, like, holds us together. And, like, it's just, it's really cool. Like, okay. yeah. and is it difficult to play softball and make sure that you're doing all your schoolwork and all that? I mean, it gets hard sometimes with, like, the games after school, but it's manageable, definitely. Yeah. And what are the messages that the coaches always want you guys to remember? Um, probably just like have fun, play your best, because if you don't have fun, then you can't, you can't produce. Okay. I've been playing softball since I was about six years old, and I chose to play softball because, um, my sister played it, and it's like, my dad likes baseball, and he coached me when I was little, so that really inspired me. Okay. Did you ever try any other sports? Yes, I play club soccer. Okay. So when it's off season for softball, I'm in the soccer program at, here at PV. Okay. What do you think that um, you learn most from playing soccer that actually helps you in softball? 
um, that everything's a team sport and you need to have a bond with your team because if not, there's no way to be successful. Okay, and what position do you play here? Uh, for softball, yeah. I, I play catcher. Oh, okay, so you have a, that, that is a very specific position. Um, how much time do you spend with the pitchers to sort of get to know them? Um, so the pitcher that I catch for is also a freshman, and we hang out outside of softball also. So I feel like we already have, we already had a bond going into um, going into playing softball together. I was going to ask you how much time you guys spend together, sort of away from here, but talking about softball. <laughs> um, we do not have any classes together, but like I feel because we have softball every other day for our um, sport or our PE yeah. we hang out with each other a lot and we just talk and like we're really close. What are the messages that the coaches want you guys to remember? Um, the coaches really tell us that we're like family and to be a good team you have to always be energetic and cheer each other on because without that then it just everything would be dull. This is my first year, and I actually decided to start playing because I saw a game, and I just really liked it. So I, I went on a Nike summer camp this summer, and I just did it, and I started loving it. Oh, my gosh. So what was that like? I mean, this is such a consuming sport. This is the first time you're trying it. What, what's the experience been like so far? It's been really scary, actually, but also fun. With the support of my teammates, I just feel like I can do anything, even if there's a challenge. I just talk to them, and I try to work it out. Did you ever play any other sports? Um, I kind of dazzled in soccer and basketball, but nothing really serious until now. Okay, I was just going to say, what's making this one make you really want to do it more than the other ones? I think about like the thrill of getting outs and hitting the ball, and my teammates really help me want to play. Okay, and then what position are you playing now? I'm playing right outfield. Okay. When you're out there, what do you try to focus on that helps you during the game? I mostly try to focus on the pitcher and just where the ball's going and the batter. Is what's the biggest challenge? Is it is it knowing where the ball is going? Is it just being ready? What is that? Being ready and having your eye focused on where it's going to go and how it's going to reach you. Okay. And then, um, what's the message that the coaches try to get you guys to remember out there? Just have your eye on the ball and focus. And if you mess up, it's okay and just keep going. And because this is the first year you've been playing softball, how difficult is it to play and get your schoolwork done? Um, it's not too difficult. Just sometimes I have to get homework done during classes because we have a lot of games since it's in season. But it's usually been fairly easy. I've been playing since the summer of like leading from 7th to 8th grade. And I kind of chose it because my friends sort of talked me into it, but it was honestly a really good decision because it's really fun. Did you ever play any other sports? Uh, I played soccer for a long time when I was like really young, but then I stopped playing. Okay, since you played that for a really long time, what do you think that you maybe learned playing soccer that helps you out here in this field? Maybe just like a lot of hand-eye co coordination and like teamwork is always still really good. Depend like no matter what sport you play, teamwork is still good. Very true. Um, what position are you playing here? I'm playing outfield. What do you think is the biggest challenge when you're playing outfield? Because the balls are all coming out there and you got to really stay focused. What do you think about when you're, you're out there? I think the sun is probably a difficult issue, especially because I don't wear a visor a lot, which I probably should start. But also because the sun is just, it can really be in your eye and it could really just like mess up and you might not know where the ball is. So it could either hit you or it just could be way off. Okay. Then um, in the off season, do you do any specific work or... No, I do practice like a little just like with some friends, but nothing really serious. Okay, all right. And then what are the messages that the coaches try to get you guys to remember? Just like, you know, have fun. You know, it's a great sport, so really just have fun mainly. Okay. Um, do you find it difficult to balance schoolwork with the sports time? Yeah, because a lot of times I get homework, obviously, on the weekends or after school, and then I have to balance sports too, so it's a little stressful from time to time. Okay. But, you know. and, yeah. Have you made a lot of friendships with the girls out here now? Yeah, they're super sweet. Like at first, I was very, it was hard for me to like make friends because I'm not a very talkative person. But you know, they're very sweet kids, so it was nice to make friends with them. I think I've been playing it since about fifth grade, and you know, I chose it for my sport because I play it outside of school, and uh, I just kind of really like the team aspect of the whole, like you know, you work together with other people and you really like develop a sense of friendship with the people. You mentioned you play outside of school as well. What is the biggest difference between school and outside? Um, ooh, I mean, I think for the outside, you kind of, you choose to play it a lot more competitively. You know, I could, 
there are a lot of people who play, they don't play outside, but they play at the school. So I think the people who play outside, they like make that, or a lot of people, I think they also look for colleges that way. They get scouted through the outside teams. Personally, I haven't really made my decision was whether or not I'm going to be playing in college, but it, it gives an option to a lot of those girls who want to look for more competitive playing. What position do you play? Um, I play outfield. Okay. For you, what's the biggest challenge playing in the outfield? Because there's so many things that go on out there between sun and balls coming at you. So yeah, I was gonna, I was, I was, you know, I was like, a lot of times it is the sun, but more importantly, um, I think for the longest time for me, I didn't really like playing outfield because, I mean, if a ball goes past someone and you're like, you're supposed to be the backup, but there's, I mean, most of the time there should be someone to back you up, but you know, if there's no one to back you up, that ball's getting by, you're getting, you know, good two runs in and it's, there's a lot of pressure in that sense. So I started playing uh, this semester because I was doing marching band the other semester. And um, it's, it's been going pretty, pretty interesting, you know. I've had to play some things that I wasn't very comfortable with and I had to try some new things and that was, you know, that was really scary and I messed up a lot, but you know, it's, it's been really interesting. That's, that's okay because that's part of it, you know. Part of baseball and softball is that failure thing, but when you get it... Yeah, it's a, it's a failing sport essentially is what people tell you, you know. When you, when you say, oh, you got like a 30% on a test, no one goes, wow, that's, that's really good. They're like, what the heck were you doing last night? It's like, did you not study for it? But if you, or like if you get even a 50%, everyone's like, everyone's like, wow, like you're gonna have to retake the semester. It's, but if it's in like the sport, this sport in particular, people are like, wow, like that's, that's absolutely incredible. And so for the most part, like the whole sport, like all your averages. I mean, like especially for batting, it's all about like who's failing the least, but like also how much are you failing? And it's just, it's not how well are you doing, it's like how much you're failing. And it's that's like the most interesting thing to me. You know, I think you just turned failure into a success right there. <laughs> I should I should probably do that more in my real life. Exactly, but, um, I think we all should. Yeah, it's, I'm not very good at that. That's so. okay. Now we all know that softball is a very physical game, but it's also a mental game. So much so, some of the girls have posted some of their very favorite sayings here on the wall, as you will hear from the ladies. The, the motivational board is, what is your favorite saying there? Um, I would probably say no fear factor because when you're out there, you just have to trust the time and effort that you've put into the game. And I mean, there's nothing you can really do. Uh, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take is my favorite because I tend to shy away from big <laughs> decisions that I should probably just go ahead and make. I would say no fear factor because you can't really fear anything in softball. You always have to be aware. Yeah. What is it? It's like you never learn unless you fail, which I feel is very like true because you don't learn if you fail. If you're always perfect for your entire life, how would you learn to do better? Probably no fear factor. Why is that? Um, well, also because it's like short and easy to memorize. Probably the no fear factor because I know that I, can, I like not to be scared. It just like boosts your confidence and it just you know you have to like think ahead and be like you know I can do this. Like don't be scared. I think that like really like means a lot to me. No fear factor because it just relates to me I guess. I think no fear factor still. I think I said that last year too. But it's kind of just because it relates to so many other things too. Probably attitude is everything because without a good attitude, you won't you won't play well in the games and you always got to be smiling. There's one where it talks about attitude. Att attitude is everything. Like without it, like people can be like feisty or sweet and it just really impacts the whole team however you feel that day. Thank you.